as we know, any four-sided shape, the interior angles, or the angles inside, add up to 360 degrees. I'm looking at this shape here, and I can see there are no right angles in here. And a right angle is 90 degrees. If I look at the shape next to it, I can see these are all right angles, because it's got that square shape. So that's 90, this one down here is 90, this one over here is 90, and that's 90. So it's 360 degrees. The problem we have is this one here. There are no square sides. So what do we do? All right, that's when our protractor comes out. And I might measure this angle here. I'm gonna measure this one here first. I'm thinking that is less than 90, because if it was 90, this will go this way, and this one would go straight down. Clearly, smaller than 90. So maybe, say 80? I'm guessing 80 or 70? Maybe 80-ish. So for me, to this angle, I'm gonna put where the vertex is. It's a bit hard with this light. And I've got that right. On the inside, I've got a zero. And bring this one over. Let's have a close look. Here, you can see where the vertex is. They've joined. This line going this way. This line going this way. They're known as rays or arms. We we'll call them on the side. It's going to be starting on the inside. I can't start on the outside because I'm not going to be starting at 180 and going 170 because it'd be wrong. If I came around and choose the outside, that's telling me it's 100 degrees, which means we know it's smaller than a 90 degree angle. So it has to be one of the inside start at zero, all the way around 80 degrees. So if this one's 80 degrees, I'm pretty sure this one over here would be 80 degrees. But let's just check. I'm going to use, spin this around. Where can I measure it this way? Okay, I'll put on the arm. See in a piece where the two vertex join. This is on zero, going down here. This one here, if I go across here, it's on, remember it's the outside one this time because I'm starting at zero here. 10, 20, all the way around, 80. So yep, that's definitely 80. Quietly confident this will be 80. I just, it just, it's gonna be 80. Now at the moment, I don't know what these two are, but they look equal. These two are equal. So what you could do, instead of even measuring them, we will measure them, but we know inside the angles add up to 360 degrees, minus 80 plus 80 is 160, which we know is going to be 200 degrees. So what this is telling me, this angle and this angle to combine, this one and this one, would be 200 degrees. Now if both angles are equal, I do 200 divided by two equals 100. So without even measuring, this is telling me this is 100 degrees. If this one is 100, this one must be 100. But let's double check, just to prove that we are correct. We can't just assume, let's double check. So I've got my um, the centerpiece, two vertex to join. Make sure that's on zero. Looks pretty good to me. Bring it over. So I am measuring actually this angle, which is just the angle here, exactly the same as this angle here. And I'm looking at down here. I don't start on the inside because it's 180, you have to start on the outside. 0, 10, 20, all the way around 100. So you can see it going up this one here, 100 degrees. So I was right, 100 degrees. That means this one must be 100 degrees. So 
But that's why it's always good to estimate. If you estimate, is it close? Yeah, bang on actually. 